That was fun. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our album launch. Is it 2030? No. No, we actually bet what I suspected. Well, then. Well, we thank you all very much for being here. We are in the lovely Source Art Centre in Turles, and we are here to play through our album for you. So uh, that track was called The Foon Gathering, and uh, that is named after a festival we will go to someday. And uh, this next track is called Jig Time, and this is one that my mam actually wrote. And uh, for this track, we're going to have Quiva Mara join us. Quiva, where are you? There she is, see magic. Now, this is the lovely Quiva, and she features on her album, and she's on five different tracks. How did you manage that? But uh, hope you enjoy, lads. This is Jig Time. Touch the ground Just tell me that 
Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Is that all you have to say? That's all I have to say. No. <laughs> uh, that was called Jig Time. And um, Ethel, your mom, who is in her own right a brilliant, brilliant um, lyricist, songwriter, poet, and um, very, very thankful that she wanted us to do a song with her lyrics. And she did, and I love that song so much. So, so what we're going to do for you now is we're going to do the next song, which is called The Unsolicited Dance. It is our, the title track of the album. And this song, it sang well to me. That line sang well to me, The Unsolicited Dance, which all came out of that, that festival. Yes. Um, and yeah, uh, we put a song together about it. And you can make of it what you want, I think. And yeah, yeah. let's play it. It's fun. Hope Did you we? like it. Should we? Should we? I think we Will should. we? Okay. We Is the unsolicited dance, and we're not done there. Are we not? No, we're not done. I'd there. hope not. This isn't an EP launch. <laughs> we got 12 tracks to do. <laughs> 
Um, and as Sean mentioned before, we are, we are in the Source Art Centre here in Thurles. Uh, a place where we've always, always wanted to do the album launch here. And um, it is a fabulous room. It really is. And um, we thank you so much for letting us in here today. So, the next song we're going to play... Is we got to get ready for this one. We're going to have Cueva Mara come on for this next song as well, on the fiddle. Oh. And this, you'd call this one the, the ballad, the slow one. Um, this is also a song that was kept for last. We haven't ever played this really publicly, so um, we'll see how we get on. This is a song called My Dreams Are Not Enough, and um, it's a song really about loss about losing, losing people close to you, which everyone has gone through in their own way, and you can interpret it your own way if you want. Um, but that's what it is for me, and yeah, I wanted to put it on an, al on an album, so. You did? I did. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, but we'll play it for you now. So as I said before, this is the first time, really, this has been heard. The rest of them kind of been heard, so. Yeah. Um, in some way, shape, or form, so see what you think of this one. No pressure. <laughs> this is called My Dreams Are Not Enough.
it's all over now But I don't want to wake up It's all over now My dreams, they're not enough My dreams, they're not dreams they're not enough my dreams they're not Thank you. Thank you, God, James. That was that was lovely. I really enjoyed that song. Very nice. Very nice. So we're going to move on to. We're going to pick it up a small bit, and we're going to uh, crack on with Anorak Jack. Anorak Jack is one of the um, the older written songs on this this album. Uh, it was kind of wrote prior after Turbulence, so it's a long time waiting. And um, this song is uh, wrote about um, my other profession, which is uh, childcare. And um, the song basically is written from a child's perspective and what they do with their daily lives within a childcare setting. So um, this is Anorak, Jack. <laughs> and remember, it's count of six for Anorak, Jack. One.
much, guys. That was Anorak, Jack, and it's all about my other life behind the doors of this life, which is childcare. So we're going to crack on again, and um, this time we're going to go with a little bit more of a heavier side. This one is called Hurtful Souls. Um, Hurtful Souls is, that's uh, about kind of like, you know, lost, lost, when you pe lose people in your life and it's kind of like, not more or less, you know, death or anything, but it's just kind of when people part ways and it leaves you with a bit of a mental struggle and you're kind of like, it's, it's not easy losing friends. And um, I'm graced to have three very good ones to my left. So um, thanks very much, guys. So this is Hurtful Souls. And I get the gracious thing of getting to count in hurtful souls. Oh, oh. <laughs> Same with lying. 
Thank you very, very much. That is called Hurtful Souls. Before we carry on, I do also want to say that we are very thankful for everyone tuning in to watch this today on our own Facebook page and, of course, on the Irish Facebook page. We're very, very grateful that you're tuning in to watch this because this is a very, very special day for us. So we're going to carry on. We're going to uh, have Cuivamar on again on the fiddle. Back. We're up and down. She's in a night like a yo-yo. <laughs> Okay, the next song we're going to play is a funny song, kind of. How is it funny? That's not really funny. It has a funny old groove. This is a song called Anywhere But Down. And if I could uh, really say anything about this song, this song is basically about not making a mess of it in life. I think. Mm. <laughs> I think so. That's uh, something I can take, but anyway, the lyrics are quite literal. But, uh, yeah. We're ready? Yes. Play this song. Me as well. Yeah. 
Thank you very, very much. That is anywhere but down. Okay, and who are you? So I'm Quiva. My name's Quiva Marin from Lockmore. Um, I've been playing with the guys for years, so I'm not in strings and things. I've put that out there now. I'm not a member. I'm just I'm brought in as a as a tool to be used for their yeah. <laughs> for their album to kind of make it yeah. bigger. And you were on the violin. I'm on the, um, the fiddle. Or the yeah, fiddle. For, for five my or six my bad, I'm not the musician. Sorry. We won't hold it against you, it's Isn't fine. It? I'll let that one slide. So how, and how many <laughs> fights did you witness between the lads for the making of this album? I can't, I can't even count. Um, I was very unfortunate enough to be living above them yeah. when this was being recorded. So it was recorded underneath you here, yeah. where you live? Yeah, so I had my right. days off and all I could hear was own salmon baiting away in the bass downstairs. Uh, or, and James roaring his lungs out. And But they did fight. And I think any band that makes an album is going to bicker. Yeah. Maybe not fight, but That's they do true. bicker. But the boys, in fairness, they lived with each other and worked with each other for... A yeah. lot of months making this thing to come together, so yeah. I've, they get away with no scars, which I think is a very good, yeah, that's not, good plus. If you want the lads to stop fighting, please buy their album when it comes out. And that'll, For everyone's that'll, sake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sean Mongey, and I play banjo and mandolin, and I shout a little bit. You shout a bit? Yeah, a little bit. So, Sean, what inspired the album? Lots of things. Um, well, the name of the album comes from the unsolicited dance act, which was the act that stopped foam gathering from happening. Um, the tracks inside the album were just years of us being together and seeing what we could throw at ourselves and see what came out of it. And I think, I think we did fairly well to throw it together, but the inspiration is just ourselves throwing our own musical backgrounds together and seeing what happens. So, this is Owen Shelley and he plays the box. Owen, strings and things. What, how, where, when and why? I, know, I don't understand the question. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to talk about with that question? <laughs> Strings and things, what, where, when, how and why? Okay. What is Strings and Things? Strings and Things are a four-piece contemporary folk band from County to Prairie in Ireland. In, and how are Strings and Things? Pedantic! <laughs> and why are Strings and Things? Why are Strings and Things? Yeah. Because, why not? <laughs> That's it, folks. Right, so this is uh, Owen Salmon and he plays the bass, is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Owen, Owen, Salmon. Do you believe in music and why? If you do, that is. If I believe. We have to start from the beginning, really. Yeah. Don't we? We have time. We have time. Well, we have to go back to the other half of the show and, but. Okay, well, to sum it up, I do. All right, and this is James O'Mara, Ryan, and you play the guitar, is that correct? I do. Okay, James, can you please say one positive, nice thing about the rest of your band mates? Each of them. Every one of them. Well, <clears throat> Sean Mungie, he's a positive person. <laughs> he, is, he is a positive person. He is a person. positive person. He, he brings some enjoyment into does he? life, yes. He does. Now, there you go. Shout out, Sean. So, Owen Salmon. Owen, Owen, Salmon's, Owen Salmon's funny. Well, Salmon's a funny guy. He's a good. He's good company. Yeah. He's very good company. Yeah. And uh, Owen Shelley then. He's uh, the rock that holds this all together. Aww. I think. That's lovely. That's being honest now. That's lovely. Thanks. So there, there you go. Thanks. That there was lovely. Go. And you have some lovely strings and things. And we're going to go back to the rest of the show now. And where can they buy your album when it's out? Spotify. Yeah. Be on YouTube. Yeah, outside Tesco, outside six o'clock on a Sunday. Bookworm. When the lads will be there. Bookworm. Bookworm. Oh, yeah, yeah, bookworm. No doubt. Yeah. Um, more streaming services. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. You'll find them. They're out there. Right. Back to the show. And we're back. The next set of tunes. This set of tunes is called the Pedantic Platypus. And it's called that for no reason that I can actually recollect, only that we couldn't think of the name for about six months after it was wrote and finished and ready to go. So decided that we're all pedantic and I like platypuses, or platypi, so this is called the pedantic platypus. Enjoy. <laughs>
lads. I hope you enjoy that one. That was the pedantic platypus, as written by our good friend here, Sean Mungie. You can talk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I must acknowledge the fact that this is my first time actually talking using a microphone. Uh. And it's, it's strange, but satisfying at the same time. So to get on with the show, our next song that we're going to do is a, a lovely little song called What If? And uh, this song asks the questions that you kind of think of in your free time. Of what if the world was just a different place? What if it was a bit peculiar? And because of that, we decided to write something a bit peculiar. This is What If? That was beautiful, Owen. good. I really liked your intro. I did. <laughs> I hope you did too. <laughs> so that's What If. That is also our latest single. We brought that out in March, I believe. And um, been doing very well. Thank you very much for everyone for listening to that. If you have listened to it already, thank you very much. So, carrying on. Um, 
Next song, we're going to have Quivamar back again on the fiddle. Jesus, you're up and down like a yo yo. Like a yo yo. I had something else in mind, but sure, a yo yo will do. All right, the next song we're going to play, and I believe this is your and yours too. <laughs> so, I promised that I would explain what this song's about. And I'm gonna do it. The big reveal. The big tell all. Okay. Here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say about this. Some people like Breaking Bad. Some people like Orange is the New Black. And some people even like Tiger King. I liked Downton Abbey. <laughs> oh yes. No, I thought that was a great show. And there was a story in the show that I liked. Um, about, the uh, about one of the cooks in the house who uh, kind of fell in love with one of the housemates or house or one of the servants, excuse me. And um, it's kind of a do I don't I sort of situation. And uh, she makes him feel better about himself one day, and then he says to, he says to her, "I'll get you anything if you be my girl." And he goes to war. He doesn't really fare well. And um, he comes back and they marry on his deathbed. And in the end, because that guy's dad had no um, other children, she inherited his dad's farm, so all was well enough for her. And I just thought this was, I just, that, that story just kind of moved me a, bit, a small bit. So I wrote a song about it. And it is called Sweet Daisy. Lovely. Oh, sweet Daisy, you're the girl downstairs. Fifteen years and you've never changed your hair. I eat the shadow, she tops the fires and cooks the meals Before three great ladies, Daisy Nails
Thank you very much. That is Sweet Daisy. Thank you. Thank you, Quiva. Well, I hope you enjoy that one. <laughs> so the next song we're going to do for you is, uh, I suppose you could call it a love song. This one is called Filter. And I suppose the best way to describe this song is it's, I don't know, it's a complicated love story between a man and um, bad habits, I suppose. Yeah. We'll see what you make of it. Hopefully you enjoy it anyway. Sorry. She came in like 30, only to go out and smoke. The only thing that I need in life is just another toke. I saw her leave one by one. From way across the street, I'd be able to see her once again to make my life complete.
Very nice, very nice. That was called Filter. And uh, the lyrics for that were actually wrote by Mr. Owen Salmon. So, um, fair deuce. Very nice. Very nice lyrics. So, um, yeah, we have, um, we've come to the last song, guys. And wow. It's a bit sad, really. It's been four years. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so um, this one is called Run from you. And um, it's, uh, it's about kind of like broken relationships and trying to get out of them, basically. I'm not making reference to my own relationship. <laughs> so, um, Lisa, you're fine. But um, no, this is about uh, past relationships, not just my own, but everybody's really. And sometimes they're a bit tough and the consequences of them are never good. So um, this one is called Run From You. And... Um, do a lovely drum solo at the start, apparently. You do. So. We're also going to have Queen Mar back on for this next song. Oh, but poor Queen. Um, what we're going to do now is take the opportunity to thank everyone. Everyone. Absolutely everybody. There's been a lot of people who've been involved with um, this album. And um, I think it'd be too long to go into their names, but I, I will want to say that I definitely want to thank Pauline McDermott as one person we want to thank first of all, because she's been the our believer, a believer in us and a believer in what we're trying to do and music that we're trying to put out. And um, we really love her and appreciate her and for what she does for us, it's fantastic. Quiva, thank you for playing. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> and thank you for adding your magic onto some of those songs. Thank you. And sorry for the late night practices. Yes. <laughs> and um, to all the boys here, help us out. Radic, Owen, Kieran. John over there, and uh, David Farr over there, oh, on sounds, and um, obviously the Source Art Centre yeah. here as well. I've mentioned it before, but it's a brilliant, brilliant place here in Tardis. Um, also, um, if when you go and listen to the album, he's not here tonight, but Fionn Morrison, who uh, it plays on on the Foom Gathering, the first track, Jig Time, and the Unsolicited Dance, um, his playing is crazy. So go listen to that, and. Um, yeah, sure. Well, we're here in this lovely, lovely art centre, which was given to us by John and Brendan to use. And we're doing this as a virtual launch because obviously we can't do a normal launch at the moment. As much as we would love to do an, a normal launch and have everyone in, it would be great. But with everything going on, we just can't. But with that, lads, when everything opens back up, go to your local art centre, go look at an exhibition, go to a show, enjoy the things you couldn't enjoy because... It's awful fun playing, so I imagine it's awful fun watching too, and it's sad that we haven't been able to do that for the last while. But we hope you enjoyed this, lads, and we've had a lot of fun putting this together, and as James said, big thanks to all the lads here today. Uh, we've been working on this for weeks, trying to get it right, and they're doing a fantastic job, and they've helped us with every step, so big thank you once again to all of you. Uh, I guess we should play the song. Say so. Yeah, probably. We've talked for way too long. <laughs> so this song... I, uh, when we were putting the, when we were putting the tracks together, I thought this song was a uh, good to end on. Good to end with a bang. Didn't consult me, though. <laughs> we wrote the song together. I know. It was consulting enough, I'd say. I wasn't thinking we were going to put it at the end, but <laughs> <coughs> you'll understand why. Okay. Thank you all so much. This is Run From You. Glad you enjoyed the unsolicited dance.
Shine, no shining lights again. 